Now the question here is 10 ml of the patient's blood was centrifuged at 3000 rpm for 10 minutes and gave the following layers as shown in the image. The yellow layer represents. So here you will be seeing this particular layer which is the yellow layer. Here the lower layer is your RBC. The, min, uh, the middle layer is your layer of interest that is PRF and the upper one is going to be your PPP that is your platelet poor plasma and this is platelet rich fibrin. So this particular uh, gel like structure which we get here is the platelet rich fibrin. Okay. Now where are we going to use it? It is generally used for uh, healing the better healing of the tissues okay it can be used in various surgeries in oral surgeries of course and it can be given in the extraction solid socket as well for early healing because it contains a lot of growth factors now uh, I'll be just uh, explaining this particular uh, PRF and PRP so there are two things one is your platelet rich fibrin okay how you are going to make this platelet rich fibrin basically you take the human blood sample that can be 10 ml as given in the question and you do not have to add any anticoagulants so anticoagulants are not added in this particular uh, solution even the thrombin is on also not added okay there are uh, there is a way that the thrombin is generally added while making the PRP but here you are not going to add either the anticoagulant or the thrombin. Now this blood will be uh, centrifuged okay some book says it will be centrifuged for 2 minutes some says it will be centrifuged for 5 and here in the question they have given the 10 minutes. So it is generally centrifuged and you will get 3 layers basically the upper was the middle one is second and the third one is your uh, RBC. So the first one is going to be your platelet poor plasma. Second one is going to be your platelet rich fibrin which is given in the question as well and the third one is going to be your RBC. Okay, So this is how you can uh, make your PRF platelet rich fibrin. Now we have to prepare the platelet rich plasma. So in case when you want to prepare the platelet rich plasma you will be requiring anticoagulants along with thrombin. So you have to put thrombin and anticoagulant in the test tube and then you have to put the human blood sample and then there will be uh, two types of centrifugation one is going to be your first centrifugation that is going to be with light spin okay and in that you will be seeing three layers the first one is going to be platelet and WBC and the second one is very interesting layer that is known as the Buffy coat. Now certain times if they are going to give you the sample of PRP then the second layer middle layer they can ask and that is going to be your Buffy coat. Then the third layer is going to be RBC. Now RBC is generally discarded and we will be taking first two layers and we will be putting it in a test tube again and we will be centrifuging that again for the second time at medium spin. Once it is done, you will be getting two layers. The upper one will be your platelet poor plasma, which is generally discarded. It is of no use while uh, giving as the growth factor in the surgery. So this limited amount of uh, layer, which you see the bottom layer, that is your platelet, platelet rich plasma, which can be used for providing the growth factors and that can enhance the healing as well. Okay, so uh, this is uh, in brief about the uh, preparation of the platelet rich fibrin and the platelet rich plasma. So I will just give you a brief review or brief comparison between PRF and PRF, uh, PRP. Okay. So first of all you will be understanding that this is of course going to be the fibrin and that will be gel in consistency while this is going to be plasma that will be liquid in consistency that is one thing then we have to think about the technique of preparation so as we know prf is quite easy very simple to prepare you have to just take the blood and simply centrifuge it at 3000 rpm for 10 minutes and you will be getting a middle fibrin layer but if we talk about the prp it is a complex process okay why it is complex i'll be telling you there you will be requiring anticoagulants then you will be requiring thrombin okay then this whole process is like requiring a complex procedure and it is going to be 
costly procedure okay so that is making all these things more complex but it is a simple thing just take it centrifuge it and you will be getting the layers here you do not require any anticoagulants you do not require any thrombin and it is a cheaper process as compared to the preparation of your prp right now if you uh, try to understand uh, the amount of fibrin which we are getting this is generally more in amount okay and if you would have seen that only a small amount of buffy coat was there and there was wbc and platelets and they those were mixed and you would have got uh, in the second centrifugation you got a very less amount of your platelet rich plasma so the amount which we get here gets very less that makes the procedure more costly as well now if we just talk about the properties of this okay so basically uh, it is generally tri molecular in structure while this is going to be tetra molecular in structure and this one is going to have more amount of leukocytes so the total amount of leukocytes is going to be more than 65% in case of prf while it is around 0 to 50% in case of prp and of course these are the inflammatory cells and the cells means the leukocytes which we are getting these are important for fighting against the infection and they will be providing more immunity that's why it is good to have more leukocytes then if we just talk about the prf yes it is going to have the growth factors for sure and here also it will be getting the more and more growth factors so that we can put it in the areas where do we want the growth to be more uh, efficient right so basically it will be more efficient the prf is more efficient in providing the growth as well while compared to prp so these are the basic differences between prf and prp now coming back to the question here we have seen that there is a gel like consistency you have got the prf you had done only one centrifugation for 3000 rpm for 10 minutes so the answer to this question is going to be platelet rich fibrin and not platelet rich plasma so there is very minute difference between these two and a lot of time uh, students think that both one and both are the same it is not the same thing these two are very different and you have to understand the difference uh, for your exams as well